Stand to my quarters and welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech as we get into the campaigns of Rippers and Rumblers. And last time we ran into my very favorite Mechaco champion and also a mad dog. So if you're a fan of the clan mechs, well, we haven't run into yet another one, which is getting to be a little bit nerve wracking because we keep running into the pirates with the clan tech, which seems a little bit weird. But uh, hey, if we can eventually steal it and get it for ourselves, that would be ideal. But anyway, it is time for the B team to get rocking and rolling. And since most of our mainline mechs and the mainline team are down for repair or relaxation, well, we'll give them an opportunity to stretch their legs, maybe test a new set of technology. And with that in mind, retribution. Within the last three months, the planetary government has struck our facilities, personnel, and supply convoys over a half a dozen times. My superiors in the planetary government and the state leadership would like to even the score. We'd like to hire you to find a local government lance and destroy it, and to demonstrate that we are not without military resources on New Athens as the planetary government. I find it odd because this is a planetary government battle against the planetary government, but anyway, we're making 3 of 13 priority salvage on a two-skull mission for 219,000 sea bills. Obviously, we took this one for salvage because stuff is fun to have and we have enough banked cash right now that we can spend anyway time to introduce the lance we have a brother in mr stabby as one might expect over here we have majestic in the rom bullet trap not in that where is there he is the uziel in back and hacker in the shadowhawk we all know the shadowhawk and we all know mr stabby but majestic in the rom because we took out the gauss rifle and we put in a thumper artillery piece it did also necessitate a couple of other moving things around, and to be completely honest, the Thumper does not have a lot of ammunition on it, and I probably would prefer to have normal, more normal ammunition for it, but it's a long-range artillery cannon, and I'll be very interested to see what we can do with it, because a maximum range of 1,587.6 uh, meters. Middle range is 75, so don't be within that. Anyway, uh, the Uziel has also been modified as once again back to its heavy PPC incarnation. So with that in mind, let us set out to find the enemy and maybe bombard them into oblivion. We're about to find out. Uh, I'd like to go as far as possible, please. Thank you. Hi. Who do we find? We found a Jenner. Okay, open fire on the Jenner. A little bit of love to him. Managed to hit him with the whatchamacallit, the thing about Bob, the tag that we happen to have equipped. Majestic. Hi. Hi. If you just wanted, it's a 42% chance. 37 with the normal. Um, let's go dump some fast cam on it, because why not fire? Mines have been laid. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to do, but I'm looking forward to it. So we have our first real mine laying piece of equipment on this one, which is very lovely. Can you shoot from here as well, Bulletrap? No, you don't quite have the range. You, of course, have a heavy PPC, which is designed for super long-range combat, but we're not quite there. We're going to walk, sort of save ourselves a little bit. Eh, 12.5. Oh, fire. Oh, we missed by 11%, though, so that came pretty close. And there's mines all over the place, so hopefully he'll blow himself up as he tries to walk towards us. And we'll just probably keep bombarding him with thumper ammo until he dies. And that'll be our little advantage here. Hi, uh, four points. Wow, that's really terrible. Fire just the tag. Managed to miss with that. Unfortunate. So let's see what the enemy wants to do now that we've forced them to have to walk through mines. And probably deploy even more mines. It's going to be rel relatively interesting to actually see what's going on. Especially with Mr. Stabby front, who kind of needs to get on top of people to, you know, stab them. So this may not work out great. Two Jenner A's. Uh, he's armed with a pair of medium lasers and a large laser. All of them are negative versions. They have more heat than normal. They're not particularly good. So we don't really care about taking any of those intacts. So let's see what else they're going to do. Are they actually even going to be able to shoot at me? That'll be the interesting question. The other Jenner is moving off to the side. It doesn't look like he's actually managed to accomplish anything. Yeah, they're all now hidden from view, unfortunately. It'll make it a little bit harder to bombard them to death and we didn't roll particularly good and a mongoose has shown up interesting mongoose and mongoose mongoose and mongooses not sure uh have really good tech in their heads and their torsos because they're basically ancient starling technology it's really cool uh we'll probably send a fast cam his way as well just to sort of make sure the janitor's going wide around opening fire with his weapons not able to quite connect or do really anything to us but we can basically jump on top of them and nail them with some really heavy weapons hi we see you oh no you're mr stabby never mind uh so hacker Hacker is going to maneuver off to the side, I feel. Can I sprint to get on top of him and have an unobstructed line of sight? I can if I move right there. Uh, so we will. Hi. He didn't run fast or far enough. Open fire with everything. We're probably not going to kill him in this round. I'm hoping we deal enough damage to maybe blow something apart, like a leg. Uh, came close, but not quite any cigars being served up on that one. I will probably drop a bomb down on him because I think... An arrow, okay, he's a machine gun equipped blackjack. He's basically got six machine guns and a couple of medium lasers. He's got a large pulse on him, too. Yeah, that. 
He did manage to hit us the one time. Was not in the head, so we are relatively happy with that. I'll probably drop more explosive shells on his head. It's a shame they're not bunching up more, because then the thumper would be able to be even more useful, because it would deal splash damage as well, instead of just, you know, fast cams being dumped over Jenner 7A maneuver. Is this like an entire lance of Jenner 7As? Because I feel like that's a bit of a dumb thing to do. I mean, it could be wrong. I just don't think Jenner 7As are something that you want to build an entire lance out of. Even a scout, you'd want a little bit more than that. Hi, I can get to you, so I'm gonna do it. I'm in your back. I'm in your back. 61%. Probably not gonna hit, but hey, any little bit will help. Oh, and he is missing quite a bit of that mech, actually. Pilot injured. He is no longer on his feet. Is he unsteady? Doesn't look like it. Ooh, he managed to survive the unsteady. We also have managed to open up a Raven and a Jenner, so not a whole heck of a lot here. Majestic. It is time to provide more supporting fire. On the arrow, oh, 27%. That's not great. Or I could dump another fast camp shell on top of you. 35, 27, 27. If I miss, it's not the end of the world, really. I mean, would it? We missed, but we hit still. Oh, I think I'm going to like this thumper. <laughs> Depending on how we can make it work. Uh, I do kind of want to double up on somebody. I will actually put the pressure down to the arrow, I suppose. Confirmed. Uh, not great accuracy, but hey, it's kind of be expected. Missed with the BPC once again. Probably should hold back on using it until I actually have a decent target to shoot at him. The one downside of this thumper, of course, is you can't fire it near your own peoples. Otherwise, you know, you can blow them up. And if you want any sort of graphic demonstration of what happens when you fire weapons like artillery at anybody, really, that you would like to keep alive, uh, go watch the Saturday campaign for the Black Sheep Squadron. We recently lost a pilot to a long tom headshot. Splash damage, long tom headshot, I should add. Um, it was rather painful to have to live through. Jeez, why are you so terrible at everything? I thought. Brother was one of the originals, but he is rather disappointing. He does have a void system. I'm gonna take the risk. Hi, kill him, please. It's only a 55. Jeez. But at least you hit him. Good. We desperately need to get this guy more accuracy somehow. I don't know why he's so terrible at hitting people. Maybe he needs a hatchet. I mean, he hit somebody, so I can't be too angry about it. But it does worry me considerably. Maybe I could dump some more fast cam rounds on him. We, If we're going to use a thumper, we're probably going to need a mech with a better sensor system. Because we're going to want to be shooting at people well beyond vi visible range. Because then we can dump fast cam on them and be safe about it. Jenner getting in relatively close, continuing the blast on the Shadowhawk. Didn't seem to move all that far, but the Shadowhawk does, definitely is eating most of the fire. Hacker, it's time for you to return fire. Uh, I want to maneuver side to the side, or maybe to the other side. Yes, to the other side, because that's brilliant oh, levels way. of shotage right there. Fire! Lots of decent accuracy, and we're penetrating hits. Come on, drill through, drill through, blow apart a leg. Did not quite, we blew off the arm though, so we're working on it, bit by bit. And he's having a bit of a rough day. Majestic's going to be up next, and Majestic's going to drop a shell on somebody. Uh, Majestic, who would you like to drop a shell on today? 27, oh, 24, 48, you don't say 54 but that is danger close artillery man um you know what i think i'm gonna drop it over here oh we missed quite oh no we we still hit him a little bit so we're still at the edge of that blast radius which just kind of pushes forward how much we need to not be shooting at people on top of this uh next shell definitely fast cam over there if they're still bunched up like that so i can sort of take control of them uh the uziel to here and blast uh, maybe a little bit further back for the sake of the 42. How about if I just stood still? You do have shooting skill after all. Uh, 42. We may as well take the shot. Fire! Finally hit with that, ERP, with that heavy PPC. Blew apart the leg. He's going to be on the ground. So a knockdown. Lost of his evasion, rather obviously. ER medium lasers supporting quite nicely. And we will shift over to here. So we're somewhat protected. I don't want to get too close to the enemy. I have basically two snipers in this lance, and that is rather dangerous to have. Okay, so we got a mongoose, a clint, a clint, and an arrow. The arrow blackjack is actually kind of dangerous. That large pulse laser is dangerous. I just said dangerous three times now. But we should be able to handle it. Maybe dump some fast cannon rounds on him. Maybe he gets actual line of sight of him. He is relatively quick. Oh, we're shooting the ROM now, and the ROM is not at all defended because he's been standing still this whole time. Maybe we should go up Nothing the mountain like even more and then fire on him. See how much he enjoys that. We'll find out. We'll see what kind of damages we can get laid down on the enemy. So, wow. Well, the raven coming forward, gonna shoot? Yeah, I was kind of figuring that. Luckily for us, he managed to miss the large laser, which would have knifed through all of this armor back here. Brother, are you up? No, we're up to 22. Who got 22? Jeez. 
No, seriously, who rolled a 22? Is it the Mongoose? If it's the Raven, we're in trouble. I'm really hoping it was the Mongoose. Yep, it's the Mongoose sprinting on forward. Haha, <laughs> I guess who's getting a fast camera round? Yes, we're gonna light fast camera right there. Oh, we managed to hit us with a light PPC. That's gonna really suck. This cannon is not particularly accurate. So firing into the f the void, really, at this point, is gonna be somewhat difficult. Uh, I can maneuver up here, take him out. Aim for the center torso, kill him. He's dead. Lovely. I have no interest in taking anything of a Jenner, especially a Pirate Jenner A, which has basically nothing going for it. Brother! Uh, brother's not up yet. The Clint is moving forward. Ah, them Clints. Always here. They shouldn't be, but they always are. Uh, get him back to him for 70%. Such a terrible assassin. Why? Hit him! Oh, there goes the entirety of the mech. So if you were looking to save anything out of that, well, we've got good equipment. You just don't get anything that was in the CT. So the Raven's out. We've got 75% of the primary unit destroyed. Who's left, actually, from that primary unit? Um, Somewhere out here. It's probably another Gen 7A that's somewhere off in the distance. All right, Majestic. Uh, Time to... Maneuver slightly to the side and just shell him. I could go up the mountain. Yeah, we'll go up the mountain. More high ground advantage. 55% on the thumper. 61. Jeez. Um, I kind of want to give you fast cam. Switch to the fast cam rounds. Here we go. I don't know where those went. Inflicted some heavy damage. Apparently, but I didn't see where any of that went to, so I'm a little bit concerned. Because you never quite know what happens once you scatter and miss. Uh, hacker is now up, and... Okay, not seeing any mines nearby, so that's lucky for us. Could jump on the Clints, but I think I'd rather jump on these guys, because the Shadowhawk could probably bore through them quite nicely. Hello! Uh, apparently I have a terrible chance to hit this Mongoose at all, but the arrow is very open. I'm firing him. So we'll start burning through on him. I think he's got an XL... Uh, does he have an XL or not? I don't really know. We're going to have to figure that out, mostly by blowing off side torsos. We have moved relatively close to him, so he's going to have an open shot on it. Three clints, of course. Now, this one is one of the strong clints with all the the uh, PPCs on them and lasers and all kinds of stuff. They actually do have a lot of good equipment on them, so that makes them prime target to be stolen. Uh, let's go sprinting over here at maximum speed. Hopefully, they won't be able to do anything to me. Hopefully. Stacking up a lot of evasion. That should help, right? And the enemy, yes, yeah, so one of you guys came from the initial lance. I don't know if it was the mongoose or the arrow, but it's definitely one of you. And we're just going to have to break you until we actually figure out which one it was which. Although I suppose it could be a clint, but three clints does actually seem like a standard lance. PPC, another sensitive pair. Stop doing that to me. Your light PPCs are irritating, but not effective. Okay, they are actually effective because they're ruining my chance to actually hit somebody with super high accuracy. Ace pilot did not actually run through the minefield. Oh, you're making me feel really sad about it. Where is that minefield? Do we actually know? Um, well, according to this, there is no minefield. Nor was there ever one. Um, how about if I just shot from here? What am I looking at? Really good. Like, really good. So I'm going to just walk forward a little bit to get a little bit of a vision going on here. Uh, actually, no. I'm going to sprint forward to get a little bit of fence going on here. Yeah, that'll have to be it. Hi. Um, I think I got you. Maybe not, but I think... Lots of red numbers. He did not have an XL engine. But we did manage to break most of this mech. And a knockdown. Lovely. So we are already got him under control. So on his back, he's down to initiative 8, which means Bullet Trap can get him in here and basically clean up. I mean, that's going to be mostly his job. If I sat back here and tried to lob a shell in here, 35% is not very good. All right, we'll move in closer. We'll get all the weapons at 48. Yeah, I suppose we could make that. Not you, but you. Go for the CT. Uh, he is a blackjack. What does he have special? He's got a double heat sink kit and a large pulse laser. Yeah, I don't really care. Blow up a designer for There we go. Yeah, double heat sink kit, and that was about it. So the arrow was part of the primary lines. We're down to the secondaries. So let's see if we can't maneuver just a little bit more. Into the forest. A 55% chance with the fast cam. Fire! Oh, it looks like we got him surrounded by the mines now! Enjoy that. Maybe it'll blow off his legs. I think I put enough fast cam damage down and I'm, I might be able to just completely take him out of the fight. 
Ooh, large lasers being fired at the ROM. That is not good. The ROM is supposed to be hidden and basically able to cheat and just lob projectiles at everybody and just have a good time with it. At least that was the plan when I built this. But I'm not entirely sure if the weapon is perfect for plasma cannon. We are being cooked now, which is a little bit of a problem. Heat sinks should be able to take care of it. After all, we do have some really good ones. And even though he's got quite a few weapons on it, generally you can take care of it, even if you just need to shut off one or maybe two medium lasers. As long as the MRM is firing, I don't really care. Oh, now he's got hit by the sensor impaired as well. You guys are just jerks. Uh, Majestic is a 21. Hacker will maneuver over here to threaten everybody's side. Hi. Uh, medium laser off. Medium laser off. How are we dealing with... Decent. Terrible. Terrible. Uh, okay. Um, you. Because you actually have dangerous weapons. Unfortunately, we managed to miss with all of our medium lasers, which, you know, sucks a little bit. Got a little bit of smattering damage with the MRMs, but it's nothing special at this point. And let's continue to flank wide around. So that I can eventually just come up from behind and just knife them all. Majestic, I need a shell. So prepare to fire. Not there, but right there. Regular shell would be a 55. Taking the shot. We missed. <laughs> we almost hit. Brother, back there. That would have been bad. Unfortunately, by not hitting anybody, we have made ourselves vulnerable to incoming fire. Uh, hurt that mongoose badly, please. You didn't hurt the mongoose nearly as badly as you were supposed to. So now we've got to rely on mines. A critical hit. Oh, is he on the ground? Has he collapsed? I think he just collapsed. Lovely, so the mongoose is even more badly damaged. How are they going to respond? I do keep risking Majestic quite a lot by not moving him, but he is in cover, so that helps out a little bit, doesn't it? Need to get, like, shields or something for this guy. Clint is maneuvering off the side. PPC from downtown. Managed to miss. Negative three. Miss. Interesting. Not quite sure how that actually equates to anything. We do need to get Brother on top, or Mr. Stabby, yeah, Brother, on top of people. So I need to see them, which means the Shadowhawk will probably sprint up here. Oh, more plasma residue, plus 25 heat. Luckily, this mech is very chill and has a massive heat bar. The heat bank that we have installed is pretty ridiculous, actually. So how are they going to respond? They do kind of have the high ground, but I'm also sort of sharing it with them. More laser fire going down. Oh, they started a fire, you jerks. Majestic is going to have to lay a shell right on top of these guys, because they're on top of each other. It'll do a decent amount of damage if I can get a good hit in. The trick is, of course, i got to get the good hit in. All right, PPC and other fire coming down from him. Kind of be expected, though. He didn't manage to do this because he did fall down, I believe. Is he going to walk through mines? Because that would be ideal. And explode on mines, right? I don't know. He took eight damage from the minefield. That's considerably less than I had hoped for. Uh, Majestic, you're going to take a shell and you're going to plant it right in there. Yes. There we go. Shedding both of them and hitting them with the side damage as well. Uh, brother is not in a position to do anything, but he will be shortly. The trick is Hacker is going to run up right on top of this guy. Hi. Uh, 19 and Brother, we're on phase 23. Yeah, you're not going to react before everything gets done. Weapons on. We're going to cook a little bit. Blast him. Come on, break something. Critical hits on something. And we blew off an arm. That's kind of not really working anything into our advantage. Ammo explosion avoided, but that's to be expected on the first round. It is for free, of course. Hey, we don't even have to turn on anything. We can just get back here. Lovely. So we're going to run right back here. High 83% chance, which, you know, brother is kind of famous for missing. But not this time. Okay. Broke his torso. Not super happy about it. Wanted the other one. Lots of damage on in there. And we should be able to take him next round. These guys are starting to take... Uh, shell fire. Hopefully it's going to be enough. We do deal technically 90 damage if we manage to hit somebody. Or at least we're supposed to deal 90 damage. Because it's 50 damage plus 40 for the splash damage. So it should be 50 when it hits and then an additional 40 for 90 damage which is not terrible. It just doesn't look all that great. <laughs> if you two keep bunching up, I'm going to continue to shell you both. More large laser fire coming down the room. If you continue to shoot at me, I'm going to shell you. I have a giant artillery cannon for a reason. I wonder if I could get, a, like, a bipod special equipment. <laughs> oh, mech with a bipod. That would be more than a little ridiculous. And this one is going to bounce back. He's going to shoot in the back. And fortunately, he didn't manage to touch us. Lovely. So I'm just going to walk Mr. Tabby back, and he's going to stab him. And it's going to be beautiful. We're all going to be happy. Bullet trap. Bullet trap is kind of getting into a little bit of a duel with this guy at this point. You have shooting scoots. If I shot here... Yeah, fire. 
miss one of the lasers hit. So there is that working for us, and we will maneuver off to the side. It is going to require us to not quite cook because we have an enhanced heat threshold, although we are on fire. Mongoose is maneuvering around for a shot on somebody. Oh, apparently didn't take it. Majestic, continue to provide the fire. 73, 73, 48, yeah, we're giving it to you. Hi. And these two taking more damage. We got some penetrating hits now going down on them. Uh, brother. Yeah, I need you to wipe this guy off the face of the planet. It's a 78% chance, but I do have the Shadowhawk nearby to finish him off if things do not go the way we were planned. They did not go the way we were planned. He did pass the stability check, although we did then hit him even harder. So there's that. Clints are attempting to get more fire going down, and they're going to light a massive fire, which is going to spread to all of these, and, well, this is going to be an ecological disaster in a relatively short period of time. Uh, we're going to maneuver right up here. Hi, I'm not on fire anymore, so... Oh, and there goes the mongoose. He was the first one of his lance to fall. He won't be the the last one, but the first. On to 19, it is the enemy phase. They get to rock and or roll. And they're going to punch. Honestly, that's probably their best plan to get in close to me. Because staying at range from me right now is a recipe for absolute disaster. Um, I'm going to maneuver like... Oh, that's not quite what I need. Uh, I will maneuver like so. If I want it, I'm going to have to stand in fire. There's a metaphor for that, I'm sure. Yeah, so medium laser off, medium laser off. That'll keep me under the heat threshold and fire. So you're passing stability checks, but I'm hoping to make you fail one. There's the knockdown. Stability check was failed. All right, lovely. Back up to the enemy. Let's see what they're going to do. By knocking him down, we take more control out of him. Although this guy still needs to go, and it is on phase 13. Yeah, he's going to fire a single medium pulse laser that he's got left. He managed to hit all three times because he's a lucky jerk. And I probably bet he's going to jump. I mean, it is a good idea because it keeps him incredibly mobile, especially in this forest. Yep, ace pilot to leap. And the fire spreads. Brother. Uh, if you wanted to step on him, it'd be a 67. If you wanted to step on him, it would be a 96. So let's go step on this guy because he's going to be the harder thing to step on. Hi. There goes his leg. I'm not quite sure how that's going to help with as long as he's on the ground, but there's his leg. Hacker is up next, and Hacker can, of course, work to... Uh, whittle down the enemy moving forward. We are in the middle of a fire, which is going to make things a little bit more difficult on us. So I'm going to basically ignore that guy. We are on fire, so managing the temperature. Blow off his other leg, we may as well. And cook it. As long as we don't shoot next time, round, we should be fine. Can I... There we go. Okay, both legs destroyed. We managed to save whatever we wanted in that one. And we are heat critical, but we do need to chill out next round. Bullet Trap is now going to... Can Bullet Trap see the other one? He can if he really wanted to. Kind of don't. Uh, can you see this one? No, you can't. You're going to step back a little bit. And you're going to fire here. Oh, we hit him very nicely with the heavy PPC. Saw a big penetrating hit on that one. He is on the move now, though. Or somebody... Yeah, it's going to be him. Despite the massive hit from the heavy PPC, he will run. If he sprints on top of our people, I can't do anything about it. Okay, more large laser fire towards the round. Wasn't able to connect, so we are lucky on this one. All right, Majestic. Here's what I need you not to do. I need you to not hit the Uziel. That'll do. That'll do. So even more damage on this Clint. He's just getting rocked all over the place, really. As we just continue to lay down shell fire over and over and over. We are running out of ammunition, though. Managed to this once with the pulse laser, which has damaged Mr. Stabby a little bit more. And he will then be on to the move after that. I assume he's going to jump again. It is a very powerful technique of his that he has. Yep, there he goes again. He is evasive and over rough terrain, so we're going to see if we can't take that under control a little bit. Hi, I can get behind you. It's a 73% chance. Surprise. And he's gone. Lovely. All right, so we've taken that one out. We're down to a single Clint who has been just constantly been shelled over and over. Majestic's up next. Oh, please tell me it's majestic and they don't get a move. They don't get a move. For Give him another one. Oh, that was a dead-on hit right there. This Clint is having a bad day. <laughs> He's just sitting under the weight of artillery fire. It's beautiful. What did we do? We took a howitzer and we mounted it onto the arm of the mech. Oh, yeah, there's a minefield in here. <laughs> yes, I love it. Uh, we laid a minefield. Oh, we're going to cook if we do that. Um... Am I just going to cook? I shouldn't. 
Uh, shut off the MRM. Shut off this. Shut off this. Shut off this. Shut off this. Fire the tag! We hit him with the tag. Bull trap. You are up, my friend. Uh, do you have a shot here? You do. Lovely. Um, take out his other torso. Really? Uh, engine destroyed. We got this guy. All right, so that should take care of everybody. Didn't take any penetrating hits on that one. We demonstrated the fantasticness of our rather hilarious thumper artillery cannon, which, you know, a lot of fun to be had there. Also has fast cam, which has just been... Mm, it's going to be... Feel if we can get, like, proper minefields going. But yeah, I'm not quite sure how the scatter's going to work on that. But yeah, he was doing quite a decent job. If I can get a better targeting computer in there. Ooh, I could put the pirate targeting computer we got in there. Probably not going to do that. Uziel just cleaning up on that one, as did Mr. Stabby. Surprisingly enough, despite all his damage, Majestic did not. But Majestic was just causing tons of damage to everybody, so we got to give him credit for that. Not taking any mech parts, unless it's there's nothing else to take. There are a couple of ER mediums we'll probably grab. And some other things. The plus machine guns, the plasma gun. Which, you know, we could take tons of fire control energy. Fire control system machine gun. Plus two shots with machine guns in general. Plus 20% heat shield. Machine guns are about to get nerfed, but I'm going to grab it anyway. Uh, double heat sinks and double heat sink kits. I only have 11 double heat sinks, so that is pretty useful. Uh, range finder, sensor recon, plasma ammo. Do I have any plasma at the moment? I have one plasma ammo. So I could grab the plasma guns. I mean, that'd be pretty interesting. Fusion cores or endosteel, though, is also available. Got three comm suites, so I don't really need them. I have no plasma cannons. Yeah, we may as well grab it. How many ER lasers? Oh, also, the pulse laser. Did we save that one? No, we cored him out from the from the machine gun guy. Yeah, we've got two ER medium lasers, which means we're rather light on them, actually. Uh, they're pretty useful, actually, so I'm just going to stock up on medium lasers. And we'll grab two ER medium lasers and a machine gun. Yeah. Now, the blackjack got three clint parts, so we may end up building another clint. Picked up a terrible laser, uh, got no more ERs, pair of plus machine guns, and we got the endo steel as well. So that's not terrible. I mean, that was an okay pickup, but then again, our opposition wasn't anything we were really all that interested in saving. So there's that working for us and got against us. So the mission wasn't incredibly fruitful in sort of the sort of supplies we could get out of it. That was kind of to be expected. That was mostly a test run to see what the Thumper would do. I'm not sure if I'm going to bring the Thumper on any higher level missions. I don't know how that stacks up compared to, say, the Silver Bullet Gauss Rifle that the ROM was using. Because the Silver Bullet Gauss Rifle was very powerful. But the Thumper was interesting. Um, not sure if the fast cam ammo was worth it, though. I mean, it's, it's an interesting concept. But what sort of things can we do with mines? We're going to have to sort of explore that a little bit more just to sort of fully figure it out. We did take a fairly decent amount of damage from everybody. 39,598 Seabills worth of damage to be if exact, which should take us, well, according to him, eight days, but I don't quite believe that. Yeah, everybody's pretty in rough shape. Okay, Hatchet Man goes to the top, Wolverine goes to the top, and Starhawk goes to the top. Shadowhawk will be shortly after. And I want the Bushwhacker over the ROM and the Uziel. So we've got a lot of mechs currently offline at the moment, but we need to spend at least four days getting everybody back online. The A-Team will be ready when... Yeah, we need five days. So let's just chill for the next several days. Um, oh, skinny dipping. Yeah, we erased the recording. We're a good commander. We don't... Like, why would you address the crew about that? Let them have their fun. It's a stressful occupation. So they can ha they can enjoy their time. So we're just going to continue to rock on with the time period and stop, see what we're currently at in terms of mech repairs. Shadowhawk in two days, Bushwhacker in three days, uh, Mr. Stabby is a day out. So we're almost ready to go. Ripper's another day, so I need at least two days, though, in order to get my... Oh, one more day. Uh, actually, no, because the Bushwhacker is no longer... Well, it's kind of a frontliner, but it is slightly to the side. Check out the mech bay real quick. Make sure there's no modifications that need to be made. We do have a pi pirate targeting computer. Uh, what do I got here? A missile plus plus, and you've got a missile damage. I don't want to remove that damage missile. It's actually really nice. You've got a fire control system energy. Hmm. I think I'm going to keep you with the energy control system. Although, why do you have a plus plus and he's got a plus? He is the energy master mech, although I do know why, because I haven't just taken the time to remove it. All right, quick check on the barracks, make sure that everybody is actually ready to rock and or roll, and then we'll get the A-team on an A-team level mission, which, you know, could be rather dangerous. Exodus is good. Hammer is ready to level 
up, but it's a gunnery level up, and he is going to be in the hatchet man, so I'm not going to bother with that one. We're going to instead see if we can't get one of these level ups. You know, the piloting level up would give us uh, unsteady threshold up by 20, which would be really nice. Uh, passive would be gain 10 more points of heat before overheating. Also nice. Not necessarily on him, though. And called shots taking it, almost guarantee their hit location. That would be really good, though. Although, again, not necessarily on him. So really, he has just anything he wants. He'll get the piloting upgrade for that one, then, because of the increase in the unsteady threshold. Uh, Ripper is still saving up quite a bit. He needs a lot of stuff as his witness. So we're good on that one. Let's go grab a contract. 15 days before the end of the month. We are going to have to go through and sell a whole bunch of things before the end of the month hits, but hey, that's going to be later on. Stolen goods, ambush convoy, escort, destroy base, defend base, bargaining chip, eviction is destroy base. We could do an assassinate mission. It's only two and a half skulls, but assassinate missions tend to ch kind of throw you against things that are even more dangerous than what you're used to. The Capellans won't like us, but it's not going to drop us down beyond threshold, so that'll be really good. Federate Sons are really liking us. We could actually join up with Davian without too much trouble. We probably won't. I mean, we are a Capella We are a scion of the Capellans because of who Ripper is, but... All right, so Hatchet Man, of course. Uh, are you Shadowhawk or Starhawk? You're Starhawk, who go over there. Shadowhawk goes right there. A Wolverine, which is built along the same lines as the Shadowhawk, goes right there. So Exodus, of course, in his Starhawk. Ripper will go in the Wolverine. And then Witness into the Shadowhawk. And finally, we shall get Hammer in the Hatchet Man. Hatchet Man is starting to come back. Uh, the pickup of the spiked armor was huge for the amount of damage he can do. So he's starting to get back into the level where he's dangerous again, especially when he turns on his special ability. If we manage to get another set of claws and a pair of talons and maybe a melee gyro, melee targeting computer, just more melee equipment, we can really turn him into something good. But he's back into being useful again. I was really worried I was going to actually have to remove the Hatchet Man from our combat setup entirely. Just because he was dealing like 130 damage. Which, when we're at this level of the game, 130 damage is not enough. You need to do more. If you're not doing at least 200 damage, you're kind of on the light side at this point in the game. Although we can get to 200 damage if we amp everything up, but we really do need our claws back. Claws or a spiked fist, either one of those will do. Preferably the claws. The claws do more. So, claws and two sets of talents is what that needs. A melee gyro and a melee targeting computer. And another pirate ER medium, because I think we're out of them. I actually do need to check that. So, and I'll need to figure out a way to cram in a one-ton pirate ER medium, because that's going to be rather important. Anyway, a uh, assassination mission, 255,000, 4 of 17, priority salvage, war machine. We periodically survey empty worlds, just to be certain there's no unexpected activity on them. This time we got lucky. The Davian surveillance team picked up a capellan signals from the surface of New Athens that correspond to a very heavy mech running through a test fire sequence. We suspect the enemy is taking the mech out for proving trials, figuring the planet is uninhabited. We can if we can locate and intercept this mech, we can keep a powerful piece of hardware out of our enemy's hands. So, two and a half skulls, this could be interesting. I mean, it is an assassinate, which tends to throw you up against quite challenging enemies. But let's go figure out what it is we are dealing with. So, there is, of course, uh, the primary mech is right here. Enemy escorts are over here with the ambushers off on this direction. The question is, where do we go first? We are sort of predetermined to go over here. We do have a bit of a ridge sort of protecting us in between right here, but this is a road that'll get them right here relatively quickly. I think we go right. But no, if we go right, we'll be more exposed to the special super mech, which may actually be dangerous. So you know what? I'm going to go completely against what I just said. We're going to head on left. So let's rip on forward around here. We're going to sort of rely on the first turn protection and also our four pips of evasion as we stand out there. We're also going to sprint everybody on forward because the entire lance is relatively close ranged actually now. Uh, none of these mechs are really designed for long range sniping combat. The bushwhacker may actually find himself put back into the A-team lance because of it. Uh, it is a fairly nice piece of equipment to have, a silver bullet gauss rifle, and without it, it makes me feel just a little bit, um, well, lacking in precision firepower. Although, with that said, totally forgot, we have an ERPPC on the Wolverine, so that may sort of balance things out. That weapon mount should help with the accuracy and the recoil problems, so even though we're not sort of amping the PPC up even more with our special systems, that should be good. I think we sprint... Ooh, how fast can I get into the back of the enemy? Because I'm not going to be able to hit anybody this round, I don't think. But we'll turn the mask and the supercharger on to see if I can't get way into the back of them. That'll mess with their formation. Our follow-up will take a little while. But if the hatchet man can start getting going, then the hatchet man can really mix it up. So move. Back to sprint. Yes, that's what I was hoping for. So hi. Uh, we ran into a bushwhacker, a ghost, a hoplite, 
and a hunchback. So the bushwhacker, of course, is dangerous because bushwhacker. Uh, LB-10, pair machine guns, an AMS, and a plasma cannon. That's a fascinating bushwhacker. Uh, I'm going to fire at the only one I can see. We missed by 29%, but now we are in amongst the enemy. Uh, the bushwhacker will be relatively easy to kill if we can get a hit on him on his side torso using our hatchet. That is, of course, the way it was designed. So we'll maneuver up over here, get him involved, and 50% accuracy on this one. And it doesn't look like the Bushwhacker's AMS was in a position to help out. So we are causing a nice, decent amount of damage to that Hunchback. If we can actually get the Wolverine up here before... Ooh, Wolfhound coming in. 35 Thunmec. Wolfhounds can be very dangerous, though. Because they can be... Wait, what was that? Was that a hoplite? Didn't fully see it. Flashed too quickly. Too quickly for mine eyes. Uh, we're going to run over here, I think. Yeah, we are revealing ourselves to the hoplite. But... This should get us slightly more accurate, so I am going to sort of pr place my armor out there. Uh, fairly decent job, but this one's better, so we are going to... Warlord, now. Nah, we'll just rely on what we got. PPC managed to hit, so that is an impairment on him. He will not be able to see quite as easily, and we got a decent amount of damage going down on his armor, so we've probably shaved a pretty decent amount. Jenner D, uh, that is an SRM 4 and 4 medium lasers, but lighter armor. So it should be... I can't say easy to blow through, but relatively easy to blow through. I'm really thinking that I may want to put... Oh, no, it does give me an accuracy bonus. I've been debating about what to do about this X-Pulse laser because it is kind of underwhelming. At the end of the day, it's interesting, but it's not amazing. Get a little bit of long-range fire going down. I manage to hit only once. But some damage is better than no damage. That is always a truth. So we're going to move and see what they want to do. The ghost is, of course, going to come forward. He's going to open fire with a large laser. Oh, large pulse laser. Managed to miss all three times against the hatchman, so we are starting to dodge tank a little bit. And if we can get in close enough to them, we can break them quickly, which is, of course, the goal. Bushwhacker going to maneuver around to our back, open fire, hit us with some of the machine guns and some of the pellets, but our armor is strong, and we can take it. We're designed to take it. Scimitar moving forward. Scimitars are... Saladins are the dangerous ones. Scimitars are nah, media. Hunchback moving on forward. Got a Maxim hover transport also. Sort of mediocre. Don't really care about that either. And we got some long range fire coming down. So three LRM5s or maybe an LRM15 but I'm guessing it's the three LRM5s. Nothing too dangerous on us. Hoplite also maneuvering around to the side. Are you using a King Crab model? I think you do. Got a PPC coming our way. It's not exactly something that we want to stand around and wait for. And we don't really have much in the way of electronic countermeasure. Ooh, more fire coming down from the ghost, but that's actually good, because he fire he moved before us. We got to stack all of this evasion and the bulwark, so, because I'm not going to be moving very far from my next move. Hammer! Yes, Berserker it up. So, why? I'm going to move her right in here, because I want to tear off the side torso, and if I hit him, I can do it. Hi, 99 one. There we go, that takes out his XL engine. So that's four bushwhacker parts right there. Yeah, getting bushwhackers is kind of easy, actually. <laughs> You just gotta kill one torso, and there's four bushwhacker parts for you. Alright, we are up and ready to rock and or roll. It is gonna be a front shot after he moved, but that should actually be okay. So we'll move right up to the edge here. The Wolverine shall stride forward proudly. Uh, I think... Are you in cover? I don't think you are, actually. You made a classic blunder. You stepped out of cover. So we're gonna capitalize on that. I think we missed with the PPC. Oh, we got a headshot on something, so he's almost dead there. We get just a little more damage on the head. We've, we'll cap him. Shadowhawk for this? How much How much health does he have here? Oh, I don't know. The MRM might get him, but... Um, Warlord, yeah, we're going to definitely Warlord this up. Fire! We can get just like one more headshot. That'd be ideal, but it's not going to happen. We got some penetrating hits. Managed to blow off his arm, so we've got that going. Which means if you blew off the arm of a hunchback, you're really sort of burning through him. So 25% of the lines has been defeated already, thanks mostly to the Hatchman just walking up and beating the crap out of somebody. Scimitar moving forward. Exodus, I think I want to sort of sprint forward to get on top of people. Do I? Because I need to be able to see them in the coming round. So we're going to maneuver like so. It is risking my back a little bit. We did walk through a geothermal vent, but I have seen the ghost now, which means we can attack the ghost with relative accuracy. Uh, Warlord as well. We're just going to cook everything up in here and open fire. Oh, we're missing a lot of those medium laser shots. I was really kind of counting on a decent number of them hitting so that we could have borne through, but that was not the case. This generator is not all that dangerous. The ghost is dangerous. The hunchback is potentially dangerous, depending on the variant. And the hoplite, I'm not quite familiar with hoplites, so I'm not really sure... Got a maximum hover transport moving around. 
more long range fire on the Starhawk. The Starhawk is stacking some evasion, but not a whole ton. We're going to have to work on that. A couple of fires have started. Uh, the Hunchback is going to be the interesting thing, because if he's got an AC-20, that could end my mission real quick here. Hoplite maneuvering forward, but not into line of sight. <gasps> oh crap, I did not turn off his XL engine. Or his mask and everything. So that's a problem. Okay, a little bit of light fire come down. If I can maneuver more to see that hoplite to make sure that he has a target, because I don't... I think it's a 30% chance at this moment. So, Witness. Uh, Witness is going to sprint on right over here. Oh, Witness can get high ground. Let's take it. Oh, I can't see him. No! Um, it's gotta be... Well... The ghost is surprisingly not as evasive as I was expecting. Just shoot down in his head? No. We're gonna keep the fire on the hunchback. So we are getting penetrating hits at this point. There goes his AC-10, so he was not- he was on a 4G. So we took out his primary weapon. He's also got a couple of SRMs and lasers, I suppose. But we do have to get a very close eye on the hatchet man's mask, because he's got a pair of, like, spike boots, and if I blow those up, he's gonna lose a lot of mana. Hello! The ghost coming in for a rough punch right on top of us. He's decided he wants to pick a fight with a wolverine. I'm not sure if that's the greatest plan he ever had. Okay, how are we doing on this? Um, shut off. Oh, the mask. No, the mask blows up. The mask blows up his legs. But I'm going to take it, I think. And... All right, 20%. Come on. Don't. Don't play against me. Ooh. Okay, pass from materials destroyed. And he's good. Okay, so it's definitely shutting off next time, but he is in the fray now, so we don't have to worry quite as much about that. He's probably going to eat a lot of fire. He's, like, right on top of everything. I was really expecting to get a line of sight on the hoplite, but it did not happen. So, scimitar maneuvering off to the side. Not all that dangerous as of yet. Oh, that's not good. Luckily, he does have a lot of defense going for him, so, you know, there's that. Uh, what do you got left? Paramedium lasers, and you're basically cored out. So, at this point, I don't really care about you. I do care about that hoplite, though. That hoplite is dangerous. Get into the back of him. Yes. Hi. Uh, I don't have Warlord, but I do have a pretty decent number of fire. Unfortunately, wasn't quite... Oh, no, I didn't mean to shoot the Hunchback. I got the Gyrocrit, but I didn't mean to shoot you. Pilot ejected. Okay, we took one off the field. I meant to go after the Ghost. <laughs> Whoops. Wolfhound continuing to move forward. He will be... Opening fire. Yep, he's the light PPC one with a triple light PPC. Actually, I think it's two lights and a snub. So it's a lot of fire that is just irritating to have to work with. Um, you know what? I mean, if I blow that apart, you're dead. Fire. Or maybe not. Huh, I thought you had an XL engine for sure. Apparently not. He's no longer evasive, though. We're going to step back and then turn around. Use that as our defense. Enemy turn, they get to move, so we are covering ourselves. He's so open. Oh good, we're still in cover, so they can't deal all that much damage to us. That was the Jenner. Like I said, SRM4, four medium lasers, nothing too dangerous. What was that? S began with an S? Looked like it looked long and Russian. That's about all I got out of that one. Okay, so we're gonna run up to him and basically hit him with an axe, and we'll probably not be moving all that much when we do it, unless the hoplite comes into close range, because I cannot afford another turn sprinting. Yeah, the hoplite actually maneuvered very nicely, so I'll be able to collapse these two on top of him. Be a lot of damage here, whereas he can take care of the last of this. So immediately, turn off the mask, turn off the supercharger. Lovely. Come around over here, 99-1, 97. I'll take the 97. Hi. There goes your other arm. So you got nothing, and your stability check failed. You have no go you have no arms. Your stability check failed. You did not bail though. So I gotta give him some credit for just sticking it out and sticking to his guns. Can't actually get a shot over there, so you know what? I think we're just going to... Oh, I don't have a shot on him either. I do have a shot on the maximum time for transport, but I don't really care. Uh, I was going to take a shot on... Can I maneuver right here? Can't get to the hoplite. Yeah, so the plan uh, is gonna stay the same. We're gonna collapse on this guy. Roger. Ooh, we missed with the PPC, and we're only getting a smattering of our other weapons down on him. Witness can then maneuver around, I think. Uh, it's you. Not unless he wants to get shot at a lot. So you know what? We're going to maneuver over here. Move into a support position and we'll see if we can't take him down. Uh, you are going to go for the torso. Fire away. Okay, there goes his other torso. And his CT is... Come on, eject, man. You've got nothing. No, he's, he's going to stick with it. Okay. More power to him, I guess. Alright, Exodus. Can you get into his back? 
Oh, you can. You can at close range. How about if you were over here, though? A little bit safer. Surprise! Yeah, it's a king grab. It's not really a king grab, but it's a mini king grab. Missed two of our three X-Pulse shots, but we did Structure Expose. Now he is be in between two 55-ton mechs and he's a 55-ton mech. So he's having a bit of a bad day. Uh, this guy's going to be able to stand. Is he still there? Oh, did we kill him? Wait, where'd the ghost go? I think we killed him. I'm not clear on that, though. We tore off both of his torsos. So if he had a light engine, we've killed it. Uh, because the light engine has two crits on e either torso, and you need three engine crits to destroy a mech. XL engines have three crits on either torso, and that's why you can basically for free steal an XL mech as long as you can deal enough damage to one of those torsos, which we can pretty consistently. Starhawk taking a little bit of light damage, but I'm not all that concerned about it. After all, it's only LRM5s, so... Eh. I mean, if you build enough LRM5s, you can cause a lot of damage, but what they've got is nothing all that impressive. And he ran into the fire. Okay. There's a song about that. Uh, I think we did kill him. He's not showing up anymore. Yeah, he's he was part of the initial land, so he's dead. Uh, let's get ready to rumble. Yeah, we're gonna run on forward here. Uh, do I, I do want cover, but... May not be able to get a shot on anything. Apparently, I don't have a shot on that, but you know what? I still have a shot on you. I'm gonna save the ERPPC, get the heat under control for all that heat. We were just totally stacking up. Also, so I have an ERPPC basically to shove in the face of that little guy and just annihilate him. You are going to reserve because I need th this Jenner to move closer so you can use him as a leapfrog maneuver. Uh, Witness is also going to maneuver on forward. Can't take a shot on him. So we want to make sure that they have to come forward to us if they want to get to us. Fire everything! I managed to get one laser on and then a whole bunch more MRMs. So demonstrating that missiles are a fantastic way of introducing yourself to yeah, potential enemies. Enemy turn. It is on phase 20. Is it the hoplite? I hope not because I want to get behind the hoplite and blast him in the back. Because that will make him unsteady and possibly even kill him. Because we've already managed to burn through most of his armor. But we do need to get them come forward so that we can use hammer in creative and interesting ways. Hi, uh, you didn't do a good enough job of protecting yourself. So I'm just going to maneuver right over here. It's gonna be great. It was one turn away from Warlord, so I can't do that to you, but I can do this. How's this going to fare to you? Um, well, we broke his Artemis for LRM-15, and he's lost his evasion, but we didn't kill him. I'm actually really surprised by that one. I was expecting him to be dead, but no, we just weakened most of the mech. Oh, there's movement going on. We should probably pay attention. Uh, the Jenner did indeed come up. <laughs> the Jenner stepped right on where the ghost used to be. Um, you do realize that you are right next to a a hatchet man that is very dangerous. I don't think he quite realized that. Hammer, just take him out. Don't even move. Oh, can I not? Oh, I can't. Okay, um... Wow. 85 is the difference. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Maybe I am. Uh, I'll be, in, I'll be covered anyway by it, so 75. And there goes the CT of that mech. It was only a Jenner, so I don't really care. I mean, his weapons are more worth than anything else. He's gonna come up and he's gonna... Punch me? Shoot me? He did shoot me, okay. I don't think he managed to hit me, though. Hammer's up again. Hammer could run back there and just murder everything. But we're not gonna do that just yet. Hammer is once again going to reserve, unfortunately. Uh, we do have other people to get done. Exodus, uh, let's finish this guy off. Get into his back. You didn't do enough. You tried. I didn't bother warlighting. Maybe I should have. Oh, we blew up his AMS. Unfortunate. Nope, there goes the CT. So the hoplite is gone. I gotta actually look what a hoplite actually looks like. Does it actually look like you? Okay, we, we saw you. What are you? A Stingray 45 ton SYU-1X. Well, that's incredibly disappointing. That is their heavy, dangerous mech. Ooh, scary. Stingray. Alright, let's go. Uh, let's go murder this guy. <laughs> Let's go turn him all the way inside out. Actually, we're going to run up here. Oh, hi. That's kind of what I was expecting and waiting for. Um, huh? Do I supercharge? Yes, we're going to Warlord this. We'll deal with the heat. We don't care. Fire everything. Additional damage, four damage. So we're basically doing full damage through to him. And there we go. So that one's out of the fight. 50% ambushers have been destroyed. And next up... If the wolfhound comes closer, I can kill him. If the wolfhound... As long as he stays inside, I can kill him. Yeah, the wolfhound's gonna go for a punch. Which did not connect. Missed by 0%. So, there we go. With Witness apparently breaking the laws of physics. I'm not necessarily against it when physics decides to do things like that, but it is just a little bit weird. Turn that ERPPC on. We're gonna see if we can't rip him a new one. 
I think we hit him. Oh, we have a, a light engine. Ooh, and a PPC capacitor. I mean, we have one of those already, but there, he's taken care of. Where's the rest of the ambushers? Oh, it's there, the maximum hover, the maximum hover transport. You know what, Hammer? Commander. Go ahead over here. Let's go take care of this guy. It's gonna be right, you and Exodus. Although, you know, those two are generally not the people that I- Well, actually, no. Hammer is absolutely the kind of person that I would expect you to go in for an assassination mission. Time. Exodus, not so much. Exodus has yeah. some difficulty in sort of sealing the deal, as it were. Uh, let us run... Here? Copy that. No target, but that was kind of to be expected. <clears throat> so we're gonna go chase this guy down. You, and also sort of maneuver into a nice little pincer. So through down. the rough terrain, we are still evasive, we don't really care. Exodus is, of course, going to maneuver as well. We'll get right here, make sure that we don't block the path. The Starhawk. And the enemy turn on 19. Stingray is starting to come around the corner. Okay, if I can get Exodus in front and just get a line of sight on him, then I can send in Hammer and probably kill him in one roof. Hammer, of course, does have his special ability, his Berserker ready to go. And this, the, uh, what, the Maximum Heavy Transport? Yeah, the Maximum Hover Transport got right on top of us and blasted us pretty good. All right, Hammer and Witness are up. Uh, first things first, Witness is going to maneuver... Can I get behind him? Well, only if I sprinted. Right here? Right here. Yes. Uh -huh. Fire! Everything! All He's out of cover, so we're dealing even more damage to him despite the lack of Warlord on this one. Structure exposed. Didn't quite kill him? He came close. Uh, Hammer is going to reserve. Ripper is going to now maneuver all the way up here. Hi, I've got a line of sight of you, and you're going to be in a lot of pain. We'll warlord this up, and we'll cook it. I'll need a little bit more damage, come on. Alright, so we got the ambushers down, we got the primary supporting group down, and now we're down just a, st a single stingray. Exodus, you are up, and you need to give me a direct line of sight. What are you? Oh, you're a catapult. Well, you're a mini catapult, apparently. Warlord, hit him. We got penetrating Higgis already, and we got a headshot as well. Oh, that was a good headshot, too. Alright, Hammer. Yeah, um, it's time to be able to move across the universe. So the mask and the supercharger on. Let the game recalculate exactly how far this thing actually can move. It has recalculated. Are you kidding me? I somehow managed to not get within range to kill him. Go for it, why not? We missed. He's probably gonna retreat. I mean, he does have a giant gaping hole in the head of his mech, but although I'm gonna just start blasting away at it. Let's see what he's got. I'm gonna guess pair of PPCs or not, maybe? What's he gonna do? Yeah, a pair of PPCs. Not sure what kind of PPCs. I have to assume they're ERs. I mean, he is a fairly large... I can't even call him a large mech. He's a mech. I gotta give him that much. Uh, you're going to reserve. So, Exodus, your goal now is to maneuver into a position where you're not in anybody's way. Um, by going right... Can I shoot for the head? I th uh, let's not risk it. And we're gonna offensive push, again. Alright, go for the headshot, 10.4%. Hey, we got it! So, we got that mech completely intact. Nice! I mean, we're not gonna keep it, it's a Stingray, it's a 45 ton mech, I don't know what the Stingray does, but... Unless it's somehow amazing, like it's an Omnimech or something, I doubt we're actually going to keep our hands on it. I'm much more interested in that Bushwhacker, because Bushwhackers are great mechs. They're solid, although they don't, they're not expanding us, they're just maintaining us, and I'd like to expand into heavy mechs at this point. Alright, let's see, we got 271,080 Seabills. No penetrations, no heavy damage, no injuries of any sort. We are all nice and happy campers on that one. All right, so a ton of bushwhacker parts, but show me this Stingray. What makes you special? Stingray is a Capellan prototype based on the Raven, carrying an advanced stealth gear and twin plasma rifles. Great, so it's a big Raven. That's a little disappointing. Uh, AMS system would be interesting, and I don't have any at the moment. Do I have any? Ooh, but this is a ballistic version, which means it can run out of ammo if, you know, there's ammo at all, which I may not have actually saved. Snubno PPC, always fun. I've only got two, so it's a weapon that I don't have many of. Endo steel out the wazoo, an XL engine that I'm not interested in, a fire control system improved, ferrofibros, ultralight gyros, which I don't like because they have a lower stability threshold, heat banks, which I do like because they're very... Of course I missed it. Drop me to the bottom, please. 
We'll go the, we'll go with this backwards. Although I see a piece of equipment, I'm going to get it. So there was a lot of plasma in that battle. Just a ton. Slugs and clusters for the AC-10. A couple of stealth armors that... One of those came from the ghost. The other one came from something else. I don't know what. Sensor tracker, absolutely. It's a fantastic piece of sensor equipment because it's a flat plus one accuracy on anything. Ton of patchwork materials, which might be a good idea. Double heat sink kit, as well as a bunch of double heat sinks. How many double heat sink kits do I currently have? Five. So we're kind of okay on that. Uh, the heat bank. The gyro XL is bigger than a normal gyro in terms of crit slots, but lighter and doesn't have the problems of the uh, of the ultralight gyro, so it's a fairly nice pickup. Uh, endo steel, I think I'm good on. Yes, I have eight of them. ECM, calm suite, neither of those are super good. The sheath beacon, maybe? But we're gonna grab a bushwhacker part, maybe? How many sheath beacons I got? I got two. So here's that. They're very nice. I mean, they, they allow me to basically have a electronic countermeasure system for free. There's no pirate ER mediums because we were fighting Capellans, apparently. So AMS would be interesting, but I think I'd rather have a laser AMS. That way I'm not carrying around ammunition that could explode and other negative things. So give me the bushwhacker. The S2R part is this special. Uh, it's just a standard bushwhacker. Okay, grab that. Lock it down. Uh, didn't get any additional bushwhacker parts. That's a shame. Two Stingray parts, Hunchback, and a Jenner AC-5 ERPPC. Always a nice pickup. We didn't have any more, so now we've got an ERPPC and the snub. Nice job, game. Thank you. So rewarding us quite handsomely for that one. I'm very happy with that. Baked up a couple of nice pieces of equipment, even though we didn't get any real mech parts. But as I had been saying, the bushwhacker isn't propelling us forward. It's just kind of keeping us where we are. And I like bushwhackers. I really, really do. But I'm looking for something a little bit bigger, a little bit more powerful, something we can kind of just go to town in. So that'll be interesting to see what we can pull off. That'll be, I think, the last of the assassinations and the battles on this planet, so we're stuck with doing more objective-based missions at the higher skull levels, which could be pretty rough, or it might be nice. I don't think I saw any recoveries, but with any luck, there might be a couple of them, because recoveries aren't so bad. At the end of the day, you can run away from recovery if you have to. So I'm kind of hoping and crossing my fingers on that one. Maybe we'll get lucky and that'll occur. Maybe not. But defend bases and attack bases are hard. And capture bases because of the turrets. Even on the defense, turrets are very dangerous to your health because they can splash. 19,278 for the next four days will get us all totally prepared on that one. So how many mechs are currently out of commission at the moment? Hopefully it's not too much damage on that. Uh, the Shadowhawk, Starhawk, Wolverine, and Hatcherman all require repairs. Uh, they will be done in two days, so the A-Lance will be ready to go in two days, as will actually the Bushwhacker as well. ROM's gonna take a little longer. I'm gonna switch up Mr. Tabby slightly ahead of the ROM. The ROM is, um, an experimental design that we're still working on. We haven't worked out all the kinks, and I'm not quite happy with it, but I'm also not quite sure where we're going. That is the one hab, the one hab that we're gonna be fixing in about a month and a half, because we gotta finish the current... We gotta finish the current, uh, the hydroponics bay. Uh, not, not navigation. We're not leaving anytime soon. I mean, well, maybe in a few episodes, but we're staying here for a little while. Uh, we're getting the hydroponics bay, and then after that we will go for the structural support, which will give us the ability to take hab pods, as well as the drive system. We may actually just grab the drive system first, because it is a shorter investment, and also, you know, reduces by 30% our travel time. It gives us a tech point. We kind of need more tech points, because we're starting to get more expensive, I suppose, uh, equipment, which makes things a little bit more difficult. Uh, and then after that will be the warehouse upgrades at the very end. They are expensive. No, they're kind of, they're not really expensive, but their average cost goes up. Uh, but the time is the real problem with them. They take so long just to make space. 15 days for this one, 30 days for the first one, and 30 days for this one. I don't quite understand it. It's a very, wait, no. Yeah, you're the thing. So 30 days for this, and then 15 days for the next version of it. That's a long time anyway, but we will get structural enhancement after that, then drive system, then hab pod, uh, any sort of recreation things that open up. There will be a med bay that opens up. We may want to grab that just in order to keep our mech pilots in fit, uh, fighting fitness. Also, it gives us, you know, 2% uh, less likely to die. So that's helpful a little bit. Yeah. So anything else we need to check through? I think we're good. How many days until the B team's ready? Uh, the B team looks to be pretty much ready, so let's give them a once-over to double-check, see if they're actually injured or not, or if they've leveled up at all. I don't think they have, but it's always good to check. We are saving because we are so close to getting his Berserker. Berserker is very helpful. It allows you to do a pretty decent a lot more damage, which we kind of need. Uh, Bull Trap's actually ready for a level up, but he's also on top of getting Warlord. So we're gonna give him Warlord. 
Um, Gus Mech would have been nice as well, but Warlord, because he's going to be a Gunnery 8. Uh, we could also have grabbed the Guts, which is not particularly useful, and the Minimum uh, plus Sensor Distance, which is also not particularly useful. So we're going to grab this probably after next mission if we get about a 2,000 increase. Uh, probably two more missions, actually. Uh, Hacker is fine, and Majestic is also fine. But that's going to do it for today's episode. I've been Tirak. If you like what you've been seeing, hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to see a notification every time I post one of these videos, press that little bell icon. Leave a comment. I'll see you all in the next episode.